Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Polygema. So Polygema is a new vision language model by Google. They have released it yesterday in Google I.O. And it's so far it looks really good. You know, it's a small size model, you know, less than 3 billion params. You know, you can uh, run this on a, you know, on a consumer grade GPU and you can also fine tune it for a downstream task or for a specific task like image captioning or if you want to do that for segmentations or differential segmentations or visual question answering and so on and so forth. Now, the model uh, is available on Hugging Face. So we'll see how we can use this through Transformer and we'll also fine tune it. Now we'll try to fine tune also how you can fine tune it using tra trainer class of Transformer. And uh, it is based on SIGLIP, okay, uh, which is an image encoder, a bit, bit different than the way CLIP works. And they have a, a text decoder, which is based on Gemma. So Gemma is a text decoder and SIGLIP is the image encoder. So it's a combination of both. And uh, SIGLIP has been used previously in different multimodal models like, you know, Edifix, which is an open source reproduction of uh, Flamingo, IMP, V3 and uh, etc, etc, right. So we're going to see how we can uh, try the demo. So they have given a hugging face space where you can try it out on your images and we'll see how we can perform some tasks like captioning and visual question answering and then we'll do it programmatically. We'll also see how we can inference this uh, in our notebook and then also look at the fine tuning code as well. So without any delay, let's jump into the code. Let's start our experimentation with Polygema guys. So Polygema model has three different resolutions and we're going to talk about it 224x224, 448x448 and 896x896. Now if we look at here on the Hugging Face Google's collections repository, you can find out different of course models. You have Gemma, you have Code Gemma, you have Polygema FT models as well. Uh, you can find out the FT, the fine tuned model, you know, for different uh, downstream tasks. Okay, but I'm going to focus today on this. So you can look at here Polygema 3 billion uh, PT 224 448 896. Okay, and they have each repository that you see contains checkpoints, of course, for specific solutions and tasks with three revisions for each available precision. So you, you can the repository contains float 32 checkpoints while B float 16 and float 16 revisions contain corresponding precision. Now they also have jacks. Okay, so there are different repositories. Uh, the model is compatible with hugging face transformers. And you know, they also have compatibility with jacks. So they have jacks implementation done as well. So the high resolution models have much longer input sequences that makes sense, like for example, 896 and require more memory to run it may be useful for you know tasks like ocr you know, but for most tasks the quality improvement is very small 224 works okay so this is this is where you can find out all the models okay and we're going to talk about the features different tasks it can perform they also have given a demo a hugging face space that you can find it out over here it says polygema is an open vision language model the vlm by google you know it was announced in google io inspired by poly3 and built with of course siglip and gemma as i started the video i was talking about it and you know a lot of open source vision models like edifix and uh, imp v3 they have used siglip as the vision vision model you know, as a vision encoder and gemma as a text decoder that's what they they used now you can find out some examples you know for example if i say click on this segment scat you know it you can just see the image has been loaded it it takes a prompt and the model had been selected and the greedy decoding as here you can take nucleus or temperature and other inference params and i'm going to click on run now once i once you click on run it automatically segments the cat yeah, like segment anything you would have seen earlier where you, you know you can just segment anything that you want to do it also gives you the boxes over here that the way it has segmented and different other you know you can you can perform image captioning 
uh, you can perform uh, you know visual question answering so keep this in mind that this model the current model that i am showing you is not fine tuned or created for chat or a conversational chat kind of a thing it's not an instruction tuned model as of now so it is basically it's look at this as a task based so you can configure which task the model solves by conditioning on task prefixes such as detect and segment so for example if you look at the word here called segment cat now as you use segment word the model understands that you are trying to segment this particular cat okay that's what it does here now if you change this with detect or something you know it will work accordingly the pre-trained model was trained in this way to incorporate rich features such as captioning segmentation visual question answering and so on and so forth but they are not designed to be used directly but rather to be transferred you know you can of course fine tune for specific tasks using a prompt structure and whatnot okay now you can use mixed family of models that are fine tuned for mix of tasks that you know that we have been looking at it now let me just click on something here uh i'll click on this and did i click on this or now you can see i have clicked on this and i'm going to remove this what does the image so and i'm just going to say caption so for example if you want to do you know or if you want to generate captions for bunch of images how can you use this so you can see it it tells you here a small red house you can see this is a red house. It's initial uh, amidst a serene landscape. It's white roof. You can see the white roof. It, it looks at the intricate details, the nuances over here. The house skewed, uh, skewed a cozy atmosphere with its wooden stairs leading to, uh, you can see the wooden stairs over here. That is fantastic. Then you have an include large mountain over here, a dirt hill and a small village over here. So you can, you can look at how intricate the detail that it's able to capture and that's the beauty of this model i think you know i think we should talk more about this model guys and we'll also do it programmatically we'll see that now you can also upload some images if you want to upload it from here and for example you, know, you can ask uh who is so for example if you click on this it's say who is this but i'm gonna change this and i'm gonna say who is on the wall and just run now okay you can see it tells david boy okay so it's able to get that okay which is which is good now we like to also pass some charts so let me just go to yahoo finance quickly and i'm gonna search for here for for example i'm gonna search here wells fargo and to What did I say? Yeah, this looks good. But I want to. How can I get the chart for Wells Fargo? Uh, let me just write Wells. Okay, this is the company WFC. I need the chart from here. So it's the loading chart. Okay. Uh, let it let it go. Yeah, and I'll take a, a screenshot of this. And let's get this here. And I'll come here on the demo. And I'm gonna upload. Go when I go inside pictures, screenshots, and just upload this guy here. Now it says uploading one file. Let's now ask this question: Can, uh, for example, you know what does the image so something like this? And let's click on run. Let's now. This is something that I'm asking. That's they have not given as a reference example stock price of wells forge and company so it, it, it took it wrong okay it's wells fargo it's not forge okay so you know i was expecting something else but you know this is this is what it is right so keep this in mind it's not for uh it's not an instruction team model as of now so you don't expect to get this a chat kind of a thing but you can perform tasks you know the very specific downstream tasks that will help you across industries you know so for example if you want to segment something if you want to you know uh, do captions if you want to ask some specific questions you can use this model now this is how you can try it out enough of trying now our focus would be to use this programmatically right now 
to try this out model in a notebook we need to install the latest transformers to it will be better to install it directly from the github source because it probably would not be available through pipe for example so better to have it installed directly through github that's what that's what I've been reading and you know you have, it's a gated repository so I just logged in with my notebook and you use polygema for conditional generation that's what we're gonna use let's define the model ID here I'm gonna define model ID and the model we're gonna take is mix 224 so let's get the mix model come here and just paste the model id is good and after that i'm going to write model equals and I'm going to use polygema for conditional generations from pre-trained and then also going to have a processor and the processor should be from auto processor from pre-trained this is right and grant access takes a bit of time but let's keep writing the code so i'm going to write a prompt and let's take this okay so i'll just take this url that they have given here let's take this url and and we are good so let's come back here and first we're going to write a prompt so let me write for example what does the image so or also i can just paste the url ah, excuse me you are should be I think I just gonna get rid of this and just remove this and this is the image let me ask what car is this so I'm gonna ask what car is this what car is this this is going to be a prompt and then I'm gonna pass my image file and that should be your HTTPS okay so let's get that let's remove the URL from here and this is going to my image file and let's just run this so you're gonna have a raw image equals and then I'm gonna use that to open it so image dot open request dot get and then we get the image file stream true and the raw this is right and then we're going to have inputs because we're going to use processors on this input so processor and we're going to pass the prompt and then just let's remove images let's call it raw image and return tens of pt this is fine cool this is fine now let's going to have an output so output equals model dot generate and you're gonna pass the inputs. Let's keep a max new token, keep a bit small. Okay. Uh, max new tokens, and then let's keep it like 20 or something. And then I'm gonna write, let's first print the output, see the IDs. Yeah, you can see all the tensor value. Now, I'm gonna do is print the we're gonna we're gonna decode this output so print processor dot decode and here I'm gonna write output and this is making sense and then skip spatial tokens should be true spatial tokens and then it becomes true and then you're gonna just write length and then pass the prompt here and then that, I think this is fine. Let's run it. VW bug. <laughs> okay, all right. Not that impressive. Okay. Now what the hell is VW bug? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, Volkswagen Beetle. I was not sure. Oh, I was not aware. This is a car. <laughs> okay. That's but that's the right answer. I believe that's a that's a great answer. And we have a max new token. So. You feel the point right it's good for getting the sort answers basically you know classifying some images you know finding out some as I said captions and things like that right this is this is what it is and you can also do one thing you can also load this model in four bit let me show how you can do that quickly I'm gonna write it here 
so if you want if you have memory constraints you can do it in 4 bit as well so you're going to use bits and bytes there so just do bit bits and bytes config and then you can define a bnb config over here so in bnb config you're going to write bits and bytes config and inside that load in 4 bit true and you're going to use uh, bnb 4 bit quant type uh, nf4 let's remove that double quantizations for now from here bnb 4 bit compute d type and torch dot b float 16 this is fine and then you can just load the model using again poly gemma conditional gemma uh, for conditional and i'll just i just want to get this in next line here and then you're going to pass model id and in quantization config you're going to pass bnb config and in device map if you have cuda because i have queued cuda so i'm going to just load this here like this you can also do like this okay if you want to uh you know four bit eight bit transformer basically in integration transformers integration enables you to take advantage of other tools within the hugging face ecosystem so you can use safe tensors integration with pip utilizes and help us to perform generation using the model and whatnot right so this is what it is you can also use fine tuning uh if you want to try fine tuning you can also do that so for the fine tuning the model has so poly gemma was learned from big vision code base let me just type it over, type it over here big vision code base so you can look at here big vision by google research uh, the code base is designed for training large scale vision models so this is what uh, poly gemma has learned from uh, learned on rather the same code base was already used you know to develop models like bit or vit or you know kappa or siglip and things like that siglip has also been used on the same one okay. now you can fine tune guys you know the uh if you want to fine tune you need some data sets let me just quickly show you how you can do that so from data sets import load underscore data sets uh, let me just run this here and then you can write hugging face m4 slash vq a v2 and then split equals and then goes back train this is the vq vq a v2 data set that you see that this has been disabled this is fine okay we can find out number of training questions well that you know validations questions and things like that over here it's a huge data sets okay and let me show you how you can play with the data set so you can also remove some columns so it has multiple columns we do not need like questions type we do not need questions type we do not need you know let me just get rid of answers answer type and then question id and then you can you can play ds dot remove underscore columns and calls remove and then you can take a size of it for the test size ds dot trend test split you can play a trend test split here test size 0 0.1 this is what they recommend and then you can do a trend ds equals ds train and then you can do a test ds equals ds test this is how you can basically get the data from hugging face data sets and i'm not gonna fine tune guys because this code i can give it to you because it will take a lot of time but i'm just showing you how you can do that so you can use poly gemma processor for i hope this is in transformer we're gonna check that and for this we're gonna take not gonna we're gonna not take the mix model we're going to take the pt model so let's get this 224x224 pt and then you can pass that inside a processor polygema processor not from pre-trained at four 
association and then pass the model id and this is what it is and then you can just create a prompt template so you need a prompt template for this okay uh, you can create a prompt template and just Let it, let it load the data is still loading you know it's a huge data as i said it'll take a bit of time i'll open gist let me go to github gist so let me open github I'll take a bit of code from there. I've created some gist. I'm gonna go inside it and I'm gonna copy this and come here. So if you come here, you're gonna write again. Let's just define CUDA device. We're gonna bind that with CUDA. And then I'm gonna have an image token. So image token equals, and then you're gonna pass processor dot tokenizer dot convert i no not convert tokens to id we're gonna convert i we're gonna convert tokens to id not ids to token yes and then you're gonna pass the image but not inside a list so ids and then this is how you define the image and then i'm gonna paste this function which is called collate function that function that you see it returns the tokens for you okay now in the, basically in the tokenization part we pass the tokenize the new line that you see it over here tokenize new lines separately flag because new lines are used for prompt conditioning and need to be tokenized separately during inference this defaults to be true okay but in the fine tuning you have to define that now you can load the model directly or within qlora 4 bit the way you want to do that uh, so you get the model in you know the way you want to do that we already have defined on top how to get the model in and uh, for four bit you already have the config that we have written on top so for that you're gonna write a lora config so let me just get it from fifth so from fifth import get underscore paped underscore model and then you're going to write lora config i think the data is still getting done so it will take time that is fine and I already have written the bnb config so i'm not going to write that again so we're going to write lora config here so lora config equals and then you're going to pass lora config rank i'm going to keep a smaller rank let's keep it eight and lora alpha okay i'll remove all of this i'll only keep I'm not keep i don't need all of these okay so rank and then let's keep a target modules rest everything remains uh let's keep a task time which is causal it's not a, a causal lm okay causal language model and you're gonna have q pros uh let's keep it o projection and then k pros and blah 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 so v pros Excuse me. Get projection. Upward projection. So up pros. And then you also have down pros. Okay, we are good with this guys. So hey, what happened here? Okay, we do not need all of this. Task type. Casual LM. Uh, this is fine. Okay, so Kazar LM is fine. This data is still being loading. As I said, it's a huge data. It's only 13.5 GB. So, of course, I'm not going to run the training, but I'll give this code so you can try it out yourself here. Okay. So, now the next is, you're going to get the model. So, uh, when you get the model, you have to say, uh, you have to say, polygema for conditional generation from pre-trained and then pass model ID and then quantizations and then already have written on top but i'm writing it here again so device map zero and then you just get model equals get pipped model and then you pass lora config and then you just print the 
trainable parameter so model dot print trainable parameter so you can just do that and we're just going to use now uh, uh, training argument so let's write the training arguments train argument so for that you have to do from transformers import training arguments and then you can just write some arguments that you have to write same step guys same steps we have been following for so many fine tuning earlier that's the same thing uh, nothing new but this is a great example of how to how google used a small uh, tf why did i use tf training argument excuse me this will be training arguments not tf and then i'm just going to write the i'm gonna go inside my gist and i'm uh, not prompt i have a let me just replace this arguments pi and let's copy this arguments come here now you can train for one epoch two epoch the number of epo epochs you wants to train per device train batch size gradient accumulations i have explained everything in a fine tuning crash course the other video watch that one step learning rate weight decay optimizer so you're going to use adam w hf and save strategy safe steps push to hub true you should be logged in you can also report to weights and biases vendor b or tensor board whatever i'll, I'll just write tensor, tensor board here and you can also do weights and biases if you want and now you can just do trainer equals you're going to use trainer class and inside trainer class you're going to write model model uh, arcs equals arcs train data sets equal train ds eval data sets equal i think was were not test i think it was val so val ds and then data collator equals collate function and i think we are good and now you can just do train trainer dot train and you'll be able to train it guys so once you complete the training you can evaluate you can also merge with the lora adapters and once you merge the lora adapters you, then you can push it to hugging face repository so i'll let me download this i'll give this i'll give this uh, notebook so it's a huge data you should train it for at least one or two percent of the entire data set size and then you should keep uh keep fine tuning it for one or two epochs to test it out if this is making sense the trainer class is not imported i believe so i have to import the trainer class that's why it's showing that it's not imported you can do that that's not a rocket science to do it okay now i just wanted to show you that how cool the model is the polygema from google you know a uh, vision language model with an architecture consisting of both siglip 400m and gemma 2b as text decoder siglip is cutting edge guys you know the model can understand both images and text it's similar to clip but it it consists of jointly learned images and text encoders which is not the same thing with clip it's similar to poly3 the combined polygema model is pre-trained on image and text data and can be easily fine-tuned for downstream tasks such as captioning you know, segmentations or reference segmentations so i hope you understood uh, try this notebook out let me know your thoughts and feedbacks if you have any questions you can reach out to me through uh, uh, the comment box or through my social media channel that concludes our experimentation with polygema that's all for this video guys i hope you now got a bit of understanding of polygema the new vision language model by google and it's a small size model so you can easily inference this or you know uh, use this on consumer grade gpu as well and the notebook will be available on a github repository i'll give the link in description if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guy that, that motivates me to create more such videos in your future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one